Hi, this is Dr. Mayberry. This is your fourth segment of the lecture for class on September 29th. So this is not included in the original PowerPoint. This is an activity uh, that you need to do. And if you turn in this homework page, uh, I'll give you another extra credit point like I did for the last uh, lecture that was online. So we're going to calculate allele frequencies uh, in this little presentation. So the formula for allele frequencies is actually right down here. So allele frequency equals the number of the allele that you're looking at, so the specific allele that you're interested in, divided by the total number of alleles for that gene in a population. Okay, so if there were 14 different alleles, you could actually figure out the frequency of all 14 uh, for that gene, or you could just look at one, okay? but it's for one gene. What we're doing is we're figuring out the abundance of a specific allele in a population, and that's important because we want to be able to tell whether evolution is happening or not. And so evolution is a change in allele frequency over time or over generations. So by measuring the allele frequency, we can tell whether evolution happened. So that's why this is such a useful tool. So we're going to do this on a fictional population of adorable little beetles that have different color alleles. So in this scenario, we have this one population and there's one gene that controls for color. So there are two alleles for that gene in this population, and there are three total phenotypic variations. So there are three different colors that the beetles could be, but it all depends on the alleles that they have. And there are only these two alleles. There's an allele that dictates blue color in homozygous form. Uh, so BB is blue, and there are 25 beetles that have genotype BB. We can tell because they're blue. There's one allele that dictates for black color, and that is the C allele. So there are 15 little beetles that have genotype CC and appear black. Then we know that heterozygotes, so little beetles that have the B allele and the C allele, appear green in this population. So there are 45 little green beetles in this population. Their genotype is BC. So this is the population of beetles that we're looking at and we're calculating the allele frequency. So here's the same beetles, same numbers, same genotypes. And we want to know the frequency for both the B allele and the C allele. So that's our goal here. So the first step is to count up the first allele. So we're gonna start with allele B. And we know that there are 25 individuals that are homozygous for B. So 25 individuals with BB 25 times 2 is 50. Now we multiply it by 2 because every beetle has two alleles. So if there are 25 beetles, then there are 25 times 2 alleles. So there are 50 B alleles in these 25 beetles. So we have 50 B alleles from the homozygotes. But we also have heterozygotes, and they also have the B allele. And there are 45 of them. So 45 individuals have genotype BC. Well, if the genotype is BC, then they only have one B allele. So we don't have to multiply it by two, it's just 45. So 45 plus 50 is 95. So there are 95 B alleles in this population. Okay, that's the number of alleles. That's not allele frequency. The frequency is like the proportion this is just how many B alleles are there in the population. So that's the first step. Then we have to do it for the C allele because the um, denominator of that equation for allele frequency requires knowing the total number of alleles in the population of, of all the alleles for that gene. So the C allele, well, we have 15, oops, this should say, let's just fix it right now. There are 15 CC individuals, so the black beetles are homozygous for the C allele. There are 15 of them. So 15 times 2, because each organism has two Cs, is 30. So there are 30 
C alleles in the homozygous individuals, but there are still 45 heterozygotes. So they each have one C allele, so 45 C alleles in the heterozygotes. 30 plus 45 is 75. There are 75 C alleles in this population. Okay, so now we can calculate the frequency for B. So we have 95 B alleles in the population. We already figured that out. And we know we have 75 C alleles. So first we have to add 95 and 75 because this is going to be our denominator. So there are 170 total alleles in the population. So we just take the number of B alleles, which is 95, and we divide it by 170, because that's the total alleles for this gene in this population. And we get 0.558. So 0 0.558 is our allele frequency for the B allele. Okay, so we've done it. That's the B allele frequency. That's awesome, 0.558. We always round it to the third decimal point because... Sometimes allele frequency changes are so slight uh, that you can't, it might be 0.5 every time, but it might be 0.542 and then 0.558 and then 0.595. So we make sure we round it to three decimal places just to be sure uh, from one generation to the next if allele frequencies are fluctuating. So for B in this generation, 0.558. Now we do the same thing for C. We have 75 total C alleles, and there are 175 total alleles for this gene in this, po or I'm sorry, 170 total alleles for this gene. We figured that out on the last slide. So this time, if we're looking at the C allele, we take 75 divided by 170, which is 0 0.441. That's our frequency for C. So we just did the frequency for B, and now this is C. 0.558, and this is 0.441. Now, we can double check to make sure we did this right, and we do that by adding the two allele frequencies together. And that should equal 1. In this case, it actually equals 0.999, because we rounded a little bit in that third decimal point, but that's, that's effectively 1. So if these don't add up to 1, if they added up to 0.8, then you would have done something wrong somewhere along the line. So they should always add up to 1. That's our way of double checking. So you've just calculated the allele frequencies for this original beetle population. Now, the last step of this homework is for you to do this for generation 2. So those beetles reproduced, and we ended up with these beetles. This time there are 32 homozygous blue beetles, 51 heterozygous beetles, and 16 homozygous black beetles. Okay, so... I want you to tell me in the worksheet what the allele frequencies are for the B allele and the C allele, and then tell me whether evolution occurred in this population or not, because this is generation two. So if you compare those two, if the allele frequencies are different, then evolution occurred. If they are the same, then evolution did not occur. Okay, so if you turn in your notes and then this work, uh, I will give you extra credit. Uh, so turn them in on Monday. Uh, and I will see you in class then.